Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another tutorial for your Xcode for development of iPad and iPhone applications. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over the basics of in app emailing. And so, as you see from the uh, simulator that we've got on the screen, we're just going to simply click the button that we placed in the middle of the screen. I don't know why, but uh, we put it in the middle of the screen. And we've got some pre populated fields. We've already self addressed a subject and also a body in there you know that can all be modified and stuff but anyways that's what we're gonna be looking at today so go ahead and jump into your Xcode and we are using Xcode 4.2.1 if you don't have it go ahead and uh, download that from Apple's site or the Mac App Store so let's go ahead and jump in and name this in-app email and uh, we're just gonna do device family universal you could you could specify that and then we'll just leave these three options selected for the time being so click next and that's gonna load where we want to save it save it anywhere you'd like that doesn't matter and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna design the user interface and so go into your main storyboard and since we're gonna be developing for the iPad click the iPad dot storyboard same thing goes for the iPhone if you want to develop for the iPhone that's what the universal means you can put both the iPhone and the iPad into one so a lot being said there jump down and find a button throw that button wherever you'd like in the screen make it whatever size that doesn't matter at all in this case I'm just gonna center ours uh, kind of right in there and double click your button and just write something like send via email and we are dragging today I don't know why it's going so slow <laughs> so once you get that written click your click your view controller and go up to the attributes up here I like to change the background color just because it makes the objects such as the button there um, a little bit more noticeable on the screen so uh, you know just a aesthetic thing so after you've got that done we've got to assign this button to an action and so what we're gonna do is open up the side-by-side -side editor and we're gonna click on the button hold control and drag over into uh, your uh, header file here which this is gonna establish the action that we want for the button change it to an action up at the top if you didn't see that and we're gonna name this uh, email button the rest of the stuff is fine down here as far as the default touch up inside so go ahead and connect it now once you've got it connected we're gonna go to the standalone editor go over to the view controller dot m so this is gonna be the implementation of the code behind the scenes that's gonna pull up the in-app window now before we get too far into uh, the implementation there's one thing that we gotta go back and do and that is the foundation or the framework for the message UI because basically what we've got is we've got an application and it's gonna be running itself you know we've got this plain window well when we tell when we click the button here it's gonna say okay what methods do I have from the message framework um, which would be your mail compose send all that stuff that it's gonna use a different sector of the application so we've got to import the framework to do so so if you go up here to the in-app email or whatever yours is named go over to the build build uh, phases up the top you'll see a link binary with libraries and so we've got uh, three basic libraries in here UI kit framework foundation dot framework and core graphics so that's kind of what runs the application as of right now so now what we're gonna do is add in the message framework here so just simply write message um, or search for message there and you'll see message UI framework click add and you'll see it uh, dropped into link binaries and then it also over to here to the left it's dropped it into our application so our application knows that we, it can use the message UI framework we're just gonna file it in the framework folder here the grouping just to keep it clean and then we're gonna go to the view controller dot H and if you remember this is where we hooked up our action our button at the, when we first started now we're just gonna import that framework so now we're gonna tell our application 
or our view controller, you can use the message UI um, message framework. So if you uh, go right below the import of the UI kit there, and we're just going to simply write import, we're just going to write message UI slash message UI dot H. And so that'll import our framework that we need for our composure and everything for our mail there. Last thing that we have to do in our uh, header file here is we've got to add our delegate. And uh, this basically is telling, there we go, this basically is telling our application we're, we're going to be using the view controller delegate of the mail compose um, for this, for this uh, view controller. So you see you got two options, you got an MF mail or you've got the MF message. We're going to use the MF mail compose view controller delegate and uh, put that in between the two little, I don't know what you call it, I forget. Um, put those in between the two symbols there and we are done with the uh, adding the message UI framework. Now if we don't add that, it's not going to run when we actually put the code together and put it in the implementation. But uh, that's what we're going to go over in part two is going through and putting the code into the implementation file so we can test the